I guess we're gonna kick off this year's Seven Continents Day celebration by kind of just going into Chicago and finding some representative restaurants for everything. So we're starting our excursion with Barangaroos with the Aussie pies and Francisco's in there ordering us some food now. Okay, Francisco got us the Unreal Shepherd's Pie. So it has Beyond Meat. Can you hold this fork? She repeatedly said to eat it like a sandwich or a hamburger. Gotcha. So yeah, so it's Seven Continents Day, and this is so we're going to a place called Barangaroo's Pies, which is like an Australian pie shop because the Australians, I guess, because it's a British thing, they love, love them some, some savory pies. Does what it looks like. I think it looks good. So eat it like a hamburger. Yes. I got most of the crust, but I can see the meat. It's a very interesting thing. It's good. It has like a nice savory kind of just like traditional-ish kind of flavor. The flavor is good. That's like exactly what you would expect. Probably better than I would, I was thinking it would be. I don't like hate it. You were so anti I the concept just of a don't meat pie. I like it. No, I don't like a meat pie. I think, because I love pie crust. So the more excuses yeah, I have to get pie crust, I'm down with, which you don't like pie crust. To you, pie crust is just a means to get to the- The filling. Also got some mac and cheese. Australian mac and cheese. Ooh, look how cheesy. Oh, I feel so much better having something. We're such pansies. We never make it on Naked alone? and Afraid oh. or alone. Excuse me. Excuse me. Perdón, señor. How do you meet pie? Yo, yo creo, yo, yo quiero un poco de, de queso y mac. Doesn't that sound so cool? This may or may not be our North American stop, um, Crumble Cookies. Francisco's inside now ordering all the delicious cookies. Were we just at Crumble just a few weeks ago? Yeah, but that's all right. 100%, but they were amazing. So this may or may not be our North American um, Oh, stock. that's just you. I'm not, even, I'm not even trying to get me in the frame. <laughs> For seven continents, let me adjust. I need someone to get footage of the cookies. Here's the grand reveal. Oh man. All right, guys, so we got Funfetti. I don't know. Rocky Road, I think. That one's Rocky Road? I think so. Reese's. Reese's. Two Reese's, one for each of us. Caramel popcorn. Yeah, and then that one is the one that they're trying out. It's um, Oreo and Reese's sauce covered chocolate cookie. Oh my gosh, that's so good. I know. Okay, everything looks amazing. I know. Okay, Buzz, since you went in, which one do you want to try first? Let's try the Funfetti. The lamest one? Here's the Funfetti. Do the backhand thing for me. There we go. It tastes like birthday cake. Which one next? All right, I'll pick. Oh my gosh, this cookie is heavy. Background hand me. This is the caramel popcorn one. Very unique. And here's the Rocky Road. Some focus. Their cookies are so good. That are so good, man. Over here. Here's the specialty one. Background hand. Did you see the car? Hmm? I think that car just hit that lady's car. Where? Up there. Is that what she's looking? Of, yeah. Is that her car? No. She's just, she just uh, walked by. Where you go? Where are we going? To the zoo. For more food. Is this the water tower place? I believe so, yes. Cool. We haven't been here. No. We're going to check out Eat Me, Milk Me. This place looks cool. I mainly wanted a boba, so we went on a boba mission and got the, it was like fire tiger boba, is that yes, what it's called? I think so. <laughs> so, I'm gonna try that. Eat me, milk me. Interesting name, eh guys? It looks yummy. It does look yummy. The bobas are better than the vending machine bobas. I'm just so not used to having like a black tea drink that is always just an unexpected flavor. Very interesting flavor profile. It's good. It's a boba. I like the tea. 
I got a bao bun, which I've never had before. I am excited to try that. Okay, I don't know how I'm gonna get a shot of this because it's kind of messy looking. Oh, it's good. I know it's like avocado tofu. I'm not sure what else is in it. So there's like a cinnamon flavor. You would not expect the cinnamon flavor. Interesting, bao bun. Never had one. Very squishy and kind of damp. That's kind of how it looks. Look at that dog. Again, the tofu is just cinnamon flavored, but savory, so it's weird. Oh, there's like a toothpick in here. This could have got dangerous. I was literally about to bite this part, part of it too. Yeah, it smells like cereal. It's got like crisp rice on it. Yeah, well, it smells like oatmeal. It is cinnamon. Good, the bread is very fluffy. And moist. I find that I don't love a lot of Asian breads. They can kind of skew towards like sweet and soft. I like like a nice crusty French bread sort of thing more. It's still good. Definitely different flavor profiles. Cinnamon definitely caught me by surprise. Wait. Yeah, that's good though. Not bad. Definitely <laughs> skews breakfasty. I think of like a breakfast sandwich when I eat this. I like the flavor of the drink. I don't like the boba. I don't know that you like boba. I don't think I like a lot of boba. I think I'd like this drink better without the boba in it. I like boba. I was dying of thirst though, so this hit the spot in that regard. I'm giving myself a very long video aesthetic. So I guess that was stop three for a seven continent celebration for what Asia. Are we is top, stop one. Grubble? Um, or no, stop one, stop one would have been Baringos. Baringos. Okay, we're at Hamburger University, and I think this is the global McDonald's. Seem to fit in perfectly with our seven continent celebration. under global favorites again? Just some salads. All right, so nothing we really want then, huh? No. Okie dokes. And we swung in Nando's, our favorite restaurant from South Africa. Here's our Nando's. Nando's Peri Peri. We got a halloumi and sweet potato wrap and then some turmeric cauliflower. So is the guy telling you the halloumi might make you think it's chicken or something? Yeah. Well, he asked if I'd ever had the halloumi wrap before, not if I've ever had halloumi before. I it does have halloumi. a very, yeah, it's a nice firm cheese. I still kind of wish we got a pita, but oh well. That's oh, good. That's very good. So Don't you know, pretty good, good actually. I think it's considered. Yeah? I think it's still worth coming back in the oh, morning. That? Yeah. That's pretty fucking cool, actually. Yeah. This is a pretty good spot. We'll definitely come back in the morning. So we're at Toulouse for our French bakery. Francisco just tried his dirty, dirty chai mm -hmm. with the shot of espresso. I got another tiramisu latte because it was so delicious last time. Was it good? Yeah. Very good. Mine's good. Mine's good. I Let's to the show beach. the goods. Oh, okay. I got a yuzu pie. Uh, not super sure what it is, but it looked good and it sounded interesting. And Toulouse, I know we've talked about, is like a French Japanese bakery basically. Um, so this is stepping in for the French European portion of our seven continent celebration. Obviously, the yuzu was more Japanese, but that's fine. I got a croissant. So that's. French. <laughs> and then we also got a thing of uh, mascarpone you can't show cream it. bread. That's some mascarpone bread, which we'll try out. Okay, we're at the beach. Beach day. It's like frozen sand. Oh, a little cold for the beach. <laughs> Look at that. Sand. Oh, oh, you broke through. <laughs> I told you it would be awesome. It's just like. That's so awesome. This is the beach, guys. It's, it's like just... What? So it's frozen and then been like pushed in? Yeah. Isn't it cool? It's so crazy. Babe, <laughs> you're gonna walk down there? <laughs> it just sounds so wonderful. <laughs> You know how they'll have those like rooms where you can just pay to go break stuff? Yeah. Let me just do that here. Oh, that's cool. Let's find a bigger one. Let's see your rock this time. It's a much better rock. Okay. Now 
Where are you where are you aiming so I get the shot? Where? Alright. Alright babe. I think it's safe for ice skating. Let's go. It looks so slick. don't know what croissant you picked me. Is this the hazelnut one? I think so. Mine's a croissant. hazelnut chocolate croissant. Croissant. I like that. It does have a very potato-y flavor. Potato-y? I don't even know how I would describe it. I just did not like it. Yeah, it's almost like potato-y. I didn't get potato-y in my bite. And the last thing we got from Tous les Joux was this bread. Did we, I don't think we showed it in the car. Um, no, we did. <clears throat> did we? I thought you didn't take it out. I can't remember the exact name because it's not it's just like. Cream bread? I mean, it milk sounds bread. amazing. <laughs> We're gonna make some toast. Here's a piece of the milk bread, half orange fancy. marmalade, half fig jam. Cause we fancy like fancy. Applebee's on a date night. It's so funny that we like backed into a full seven cut this weekend, but we didn't even mean to, just because of how awesome it is to live around here. <laughs> well, I think we're wrapping things up. We stopped at Empanadas. I don't know how to actually say it. I like saying it like it's uh, German. Empanadas. We're actually starting with some ice cream for Antarctica because, yeah. you know, everything's frozen there. Yeah. <laughs> what kind of ice cream did you get us? Uh, cappuccino and dark chocolate. So here's our ice cream, cappuccino and dark chocolate. Como mm. es? It's good. I haven't had coffee ice cream in a while. And the last item for Seven Continents celebration are these empanadas from this new place that we found. I know I got a broccoli empanada and Mushroom. corn. I got broccoli and corn and... Ooh, I got your broccoli and corn. Oh, but I wanted the corn. Sorry. I really thought you wanted mushroom. I got al pastor and onion. You're gonna start with... I think this one's the al pastor. Okay, so this is vegan al pastor. Yes. Hmm. Good? I think I got the pineapple. That's good. 